poll. Listen to this poll result. This was interesting. Read a poll yesterday that 80% support mask wearing, yet no one's wearing them. Read another poll that the majority thinks shutting down the economy again for a second wave is a good idea, which is overwhelmingly crap, because just look at how many people are out there shopping. In my opinion, people are no longer willing to believe this nonsense. So there's one of two things going on. Either the only people who answer polls these days are the nervous Nellies, or people answer polls giving answers that they think they should say, as opposed to what they actually believe. So one person here asks, will there ever be a post-COVID? You know, I had, I had this argument with, uh, with, with someone yesterday, because I think my view on masks is actually a centrist view, that if you're sick, you should wear one, so it prevents you from breathing your germs on someone else, that it is very unlikely that it is going to prevent you from getting sick, which a lot of people believe... And it seems to me that uh, there's conflicting evidence on that. And uh, to, to get to a point where if you've got zero cases in a community, you can't get better than zero. Why would we need to continue to have mandatory mask wearing in jurisdictions where there has never been a case or where there currently is zero? Like that seems to me to be a pretty reasonable position to take. But I'm told that I am an extremist with that view. does not simply walk into Alberta. Its black gates are guarded by more than just orcs. There is evil there that does not sleep. And the great eye is ever watchful. It is a barren wasteland, riddled with fire and ash and dust. The very air you breathe is a poisonous fume. Not with 10,000 men could you do this. It is folly. 